And as you turn, as you turn at the end, you're doing a double blocking action. Keep those punch here. Another man's throwing another punch over here. Then you're going back to this guy, strike him in the chin. And this guy over here, you can do the same thing. Block, strike him under the chin. You grab him on this side of the collar, you go inside here on the outside of him. And then from here, it's as you come back <laughs> to conclude, go right in front of you. So it's First one will be reverse leg sweep and punch. You're in a fighting position with this foot kind of angled to 45 degree in front. And you're here and you're kind of moving around a little bit. And you come right here and you reverse leg sweep. And when you do, it's a it kind of an inward kick with the heel right here in. And he goes forward a little bit. And then it's a strike to the, to the chin, the mandible, right at the joint. So again, reverse leg sweep. Under an over punch. This time you're going to do a replacement step as you're moving forward with your hands for your your punch. This back foot is going to replace this foot, and this other foot is going to hop in, and you're going to come underneath at the same time. You're going to be in such a dodge behind this knee. He can come and turn back on you, and you're going to be grabbing and pushing away and striking here and striking here. Now once you've done that, you step all the way past him over here and drive and he goes down okay watch it slow motion one two two drive down all right leg sweep from the ground this is for guys that like to they're head hunters they're always coming at your head as they step you go down the ground away, your hands come over here to the back at a 45 degree angle. And then from there, your leg is, as you're going down this way, this leg is coming like this. You're taking the man down. You have him all the way down. Okay. Let's watch it again. Okay, he goes, now you don't drop to the knee. You don't drop to the knee like you're dropping down. What you do is you roll to the knee, then come around. See? <laughs> and if he comes back this way, you've got him in the elbow here, and you've got him in the throat. Because if you throw that hard enough, it will throw him back. Come back down here. It will throw him back into here. As he comes down, you hit the elbow, wrap around the throat, down, and he's controlled. Right in Christ's eyes, sorry. Right. Leaping back kick, what you're going to do is, most people that you fight are open right here and just below the floating rib area, most of the time. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to aim with this front foot on the line with this, and then I'm going to arch over in the air with my other foot, <laughs> leap up in the air, and I want to kick, and I want to try to catch him right there. So it looks, it looks like this. And again, he's coming at me. Coming around, shielding, blocking as you come. The front kick. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to fake from behind this way like this. I might even do it a couple of times, getting leery of it. Move around a little bit here. And then, Kick. While well, he's keeping the hands up shielding. And shoot over the back, your leg sweep is coming with the front foot. And what I'm doing here is I've got my hands up shielding for a punch, and then I'm doing a replacement step. From here to here, leg sweep forward and shoot to the back of the neck, or you can shoot to the spine. Either one, but it's a leg sweep and shoot over the back. And here's how it looks. Move like this a little bit. 
Here's how it looks in a real free fighting situation. See? Take the leg out from underneath down. That's a real free fighting application. 